183 organizations in the U.S. request a budget of 330 billion won to respond to hate crimes to the White House. So Lee equals Newsus, reporter Shin Young One equals 183 organizations in the United States have requested that President Joe Biden allocate a budget of 300 million dollars, about 330 billion won, for safety and relief programs for Asians. According to Axios on the 20th, local time, the request was delivered at a meeting between President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris with Asian Pacific American, AAPI, leaders in Atlanta, Georgia the day before. It's been three days since a total of eight people, including four Koreans and six Asians, were killed in a series of shootings by white male Robert Aaron Long, 21 at three massage shops and spas around Atlanta. The budget is aimed at facilitating the federal government's response to hate crimes that worsened during the COVID-19 pandemic, and enabling state and local governments to improve reporting of related crimes. They asked for $100 million to help the API Group develop programs to combat discrimination against Asians, and to allocate an additional $200 million to the next federal budget for long-term community safety and recovery. Through this, we support victims to report damage in their native language and receive mental health treatment. It assists organizations in advocating victims and survivors, and assists in creating alternatives to law enforcement such as violence prevention and crisis intervention. Resources are also used to help happy essential and low-wage workers, including immigrants. It also called for the establishment of an interagency task force, TF, at the White House level to coordinate interfederal roles with API supporters. In their letter, they locked out, a time when Asian women and girls, transgender people, people whose gender identity has not been determined, and unrecorded immigrant communities were exposed to attack. Asia's elderly people are walking on the streets unsafe in fear of violence, and children are enduring bullying. Our workplaces are closed and our houses are graffitied. Also, for being criticized for promoting racial hatred by former President Donald Trump calling Corona-19 a Chinese virus, he said, he deepened the wounds of the Appy community and by inviting white supremacists full of hatred, to wounds. I sprinkled with salt added a voice of criticism. What is clear is that we need to respond between the relevant agencies and the entire government so that we can fulfill all of our demands, he said. For this, a substantial and long-term investment is necessary. According to Stop Up Hate, Stop Asian Hate Crimes, 3,800 hate crime reports were received from March last year to February this year, during the Corona-19 pandemic and it was counted that women suffered 2.3 times more damage than men.